Today's video is going to be huge. This could just mean a difference of a couple percent, but to some of us, that's worth tens of thousands of dollars. You're going to hear me talk a lot about conversion rate in this video, and if you don't know what that is, that's the percentage of people who visit your site that actually go through with a purchase. The average percentage is somewhere around 3-4% to and I'm going to be teaching you how to hit that if you're not there already or how to surpass that if you're stuck there. One thing I want to stress is that it's different for all of us. We're all targeting different traffic that's going to be more or less inclined to certain aspects. For example, the past 3 weeks I removed my stock countdown timer on my website and I stalled my conversion rate decreased by around 0.7%. Some people see increases in their conversion rates by removing their timers. It's important to constantly test different elements of your website. Another thing that's really going to affect your conversion rate is the quality of the traffic that you're driving. I see a lot of people that get thousands of visitors but not a single sale. That's why it's important to ask for a page's demographics if you're doing influencer shoutouts or if you're doing Facebook ads, make sure you exclude third world countries. Not only would I exclude third world countries on Facebook ads, but I would also limit my targeting to the big five. The big five is the five, the big five, is the five major English speaking countries in the world. These are the United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Another way to increase your conversion rate is to focus on visitor recovery methods. Make sure that you're using exit intent email pop-ups that have coupon codes. You should also be doing retargeting and you should have abandoned cart emails in place. These are quite literally going to be the cheapest sales that you get because you're targeting someone who's already shown interest in the product. If you'd like me to do a video on retargeting, just let me know. It's super easy and it's really beneficial. The last and number one way to improve your conversions is to have a clean website. I can't stress this enough, but less is more. Don't have a bunch of pop-ups and keep it minimal when it comes to stock countdown timers and other scarcity apps. Having a lot of white on your website will make it look professional, plus if you implement a red add to cart button like I recommend, it's going to make it pop even more. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you implement some of the suggestions that I mentioned. If you took some value out of this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.